Actually, keep it sweats. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tasting trip for Lake Hartwell Hazy. Mm. Uh, well, not Lake Hartwell Hazy. Hartwell Hazy IPA. Yes, the Hartwell Hazy yeah. IPA. Hartwell Hazy IPA. Yeah. The Hornadol Hartwell yes. Hazy IPA. Technically. Could use the Hornadol. Yes. Yeah. That's true. So we're at the R Ranch um, in the mountains in Dahlonega, Georgia, which is the North Georgia mountains. Mm. It's a private resort. Um, so it is a, it's a yeah, exclusive it's club. It we is. are not members of, unfortunately. Right, but we know someone. We know someone. <laughs> it's a good way to do things sometimes. Yeah. 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 So it's not really a timeshare. It's like an ownership, and so you buy into it. Is that how you would say? It? I, don't know. So I don't understand the structures between okay. timeshare. Whatever it costs money every year. Yeah, and that. I think you actually like own a piece of property, um, and then you can rent out cabins. We're in the RV park right now, so we'll try to show you around a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a cute little creek in the background. We'll try to catch a video of that so you guys can see. Because, um, you know, maybe you'll want to buy into this place or uh, try to meet someone. <laughs> yeah, know somebody. It's cheaper. Yeah, right? Yeah. Seriously. Um, so we're enjoying it here so far. We're about to, what are we about to do today? Uh, we are going to uh, meadery mm -hmm. and uh, brewery. Yes. And, Obviously, because uh, that's what we do. And antique market yeah so our rv is it's fairly new it's kind of bare so i want to kind of you know spice her up a little bit mm. get some decorations mm. we're gonna um visit the edwa brewery put that, i put that up yes Which I, can they see that I yeah they kind of see those. she hates it okay i don't hate it no, no i just not just you hate it there well i just don't know if it's gonna go with the style of the rest of the stuff that i have We'll see. It's red. It's black. I I know. Okay, it can it can be there. This, this is the whole conversation. <laughs> it can be there. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, antique. Is it? Yeah. And then we're gonna uh, go make a drive. Yeah. To all at the Vogel State Park and back. It's um, North Georgia has. Uh, I think I'm saying this. I think that's right. It's what I've always been told. It's called Six Gap, and it's basically a bunch of gaps in the mountains, and it forms sort of like the Roman numeral three kind of a uh, drive. And this is like one section of it. I think it's the western section we're gonna drive. It's about an hour drive around. It's got some waterfalls. It's got some scenic overlooks. So, so get ready for lots of that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Montage. Uh, yeah, right. And then we're going to check out the uh, Tantrum Brewing Company. So that's about 19-ish miles away from here. I think about a 30-minute drive. It's in Cleveland, right? Yeah, it's near Cleveland. Cleveland, Georgia. Um, and then there's a closer one, which I think is actually the Dahlonega Brewery and Etowah Meadery. So we're ex I'm excited to try some meat. That's only like five minutes away, so that's yeah, really nice. that one's really close. So we're so, going to go and uh, obviously drink responsibly and have like one maybe and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, but we will be bringing some home. Uh, but I don't think we're going to drink it tonight. Well, well, yes. Fingers crossed. All right. <laughs> I'm still not sure about this brew because I basically uh, did everything I'm not supposed to do and I used brand new ingredients and I winged a recipe and I have a yeast, you know, a Franken yeast that I've never used before and I used a keg as a fermenter, which I'd never done before, and we drove it around and I pitched these. I basically did everything I never do simultaneously, and if you know anything about processes, uh, you should never change multiple variables simultaneously, and I, I did that, yeah, so that's well, it's going to be... I believe in you. It fermented in 40 hours, which is pretty mm. bonkers, and I pitched these at 105 degrees, which you're not mm -hmm. never supposed to do on other yeast, and it, seven hours later it was boiling, and so yeah. It, was, yeah, it was great. We'll see. We'll I said, taste it later. I said last night it's going to be either amazing or awful. It 
I don't think it's going to be a thing where there's mediocrity there. I think it's, it's yeah, you'll find out. You'll find out. Or we'll just hide it from you if it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or, or you'll never see this video. Yeah. Right. Huh. Um, Catch you later. <laughs> Alright, bye. Such as we're supposed to go straight. Where? Back at the top of the mountain. Such as? Where we did the overlook, right? No, no, where we passed like the little gas station and stuff. No. We're supposed to turn right. There's lake. Oh, right. yeah, I probably was. Tantrum Brewing Company. Great location up in the North Georgia mountains. It actually sits at the base of Mount Yona, which I did not record in this video. Uh, oh, there's my truck. You can see we're the first people there. Oh, there's Mount Yona. Real fast shot of it. <laughs> so yeah, we went antiquing and decorating, which I surprisingly like more than I thought I would. Uh, we went to, this is actually right across the street from the brewery, so if you like antiquing and drinking, it's the place for you. That's what it looks like after the decoration. Still some work to do. So yeah, I uh, went to uh, Tantrum. There's their beer list. Another shot of their, of one of their delicious flights. I highly recommend if you go there. They uh, grow their own hops and everything uh, on site, which I think is very cool. After we, after antiquing and drinking, <laughs> one drink each or one flight each, uh, we went to the Etowah Meadery and uh, sampled some of the delicious wares there. Uh, great local run joint outside of uh, Dahlonega, Georgia. Super friendly. Uh, they got their own bees, I guess, uh, inside their tap room. They, they had just opened, so they're not just open, but with COVID and the restrictions, you know how that stuff was. So, um, But yeah, we had a good time with some friends and really enjoyed ourselves. So if you're ever in Dahlonega area uh, in Cleveland, check out Tantrum and check out uh, the meadery. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little glimpse of the RV park and the creek. And I was going to say maybe you can hear it and it'll be peaceful, but now somebody's drilling something, so we'll see. <laughs>
ready to tap again. What is it on y'all's heads? You guys look ridiculous. Ask them if they're ready to tap the keg. Are you ready to tap the keg? Hell yeah. <laughs> I gotta do all the, uh, put it all together. What are you doing? I'm uh, putting together CO2 for the keg. So I have a pressure regulator, new connector for the keg. Fancy to welcome. So I'm putting together the CO2 for the keg. So I had to buy some hose, a pressure regulator, connection for the keg, some uh, hose clamps. That's it. Okay. How are you feeling about tasting it? It's pretty nervous. Pretty nervous. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I hope it doesn't suck. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see you soon. First pour. First pour. Here we go. Okay, the brewer says we must try first. We get to try first. If you can't tell for our faces, it's really hot. It's humid. It's so humid right now. So And we've been out getting you guys good content all day. True. So yes, and trying beers for you because you know that's that's just like it's our, our gift. It's a cross we bear yeah, for you. Exactly. Yeah. We also tried mead. Mead, yes. mead too. Yeah. So uh, that's the Oma Gang glass, but looks the color's nice. Looks mm -hmm. pretty good right there. So cheers. Cheers. Hope it doesn't suck. That's actually really not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Mm -hmm. Better than some okay. of those. Now we're gonna go share it with some friends. All right, see ya. Are you ready to try this? I am ready to try this. Josh Ward. What, what's the name of this beer? The Hyla? Hart, Hartwell Hazy. Hartwell Hazy. It's brewed Hazy. in Lake Hartwell. Alright. Well, would you like I, to do it? I had a hand in this. Yeah, yeah, you did. You helped brew it. You literally did. Yeah. <laughs> it probably will foam a little bit on that plastic, so. It's nice and cold. Mm -hmm. Been chilling. I should have like 60 pounds of ice on it all the way and half of it's gone all right it's the big test cheers damn <laughs> that's not bad huh damn <laughs> not bad that, right? is good. that is good <laughs> that is good i think we i think we killed it yeah that is good uh, okay yeah i project? think it's pretty good mm -hmm. How are you feeling That's about good. it, Brewer? Uh, like, are you this happy? Is not actually, humid sweat. This yeah. is nervous sweats. It's good. <laughs> We're completely wet right. on the beer. Yeah. It's like um, a little bit of citrusy. Yeah. That, yep. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, That's the hops we talked about. Yeah. And I think the yeast too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Ready? Ready to try, Marcella? Yum yum. Where's you guys my can cup? Try it together. Here, They're over there. I gotta get you one. You guys can try it together. Are you a beer drinker or? <laughs> okay. Because then I'll, I'll fill it up if you want. You know, go back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want? Yeah. Oh, you guys. This is for. It smells everyone. so good. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I told yeah. oh um, I told the guy Jeff that was walking around that we were tapping the, your first keg tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That smell really good. Oh, did you taste it? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, wait, here we go. Here we go. Salud. Oh. Salud. Clink, 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 so clink, clink, clink. Oh. oh, thanks. 
Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's the expression, right? Taking risks can feel scary, and on some level, we're all biologically wired to play it safe. But wouldn't you say that some of the greatest, most worthwhile things have come out of taking chances? Stories like those of Walt Disney, Henry Ford, Alexander Graham Bell, and, well, now obviously we can add Roar V to that list, right, Jason? Uh, yeah, obviously we're in deserving to be amongst the pantheon of those people yeah mm. <laughs> so anyway guys short and sweet this time but we hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you're a little more inspired to take some risks of your own that just might pay off